Ever wonder why the moon changes its shape? There are a few basic facts we must understand first. The moon is a satellite that revolves around the Earth while the Earth rotates around the sun. It takes 29.5 days, or about four weeks, for one full lunar revolution. This causes what we call lunar phases. The moon has eight phases. They are determined by the position of the moon in relation to the sun and the Earth. As the moon reaches certain positions in its orbit, the portion of the lit side that is visible to us changes. The sun, Earth, and moon act as three points in space. For each phase, the sun and moon form different angles with the Earth as its vertex. Watch how the moon's appearance changes as it revolves 360 degrees around the Earth. New moon. Even though we can't see the moon, it's still there. It doesn't seem to appear because the shadow side is facing the Earth. As the moon revolves on its orbit, we begin to see more and more of the lit side of the moon. At 45 degrees, we see a waxing crescent moon. The term waxing means growing. Crescent moons look like croissants. Croissants! The moon continues to travel, and when it reaches 90 degrees, or a right angle, it becomes the first quarter moon. It is also known as a half moon. Then at 135 degrees, we see what is called a waxing gibbous moon. Gibbous is defined as swollen on one side, like a swollen face. Eventually, it grows to be a full moon. This is when it reaches 180 degrees. Sometimes two full moons can occur in one month. This rarity is what we call a blue moon. It's not really blue. Now the moon is making its way back. At 225 degrees, the moon becomes a waning gibbous moon. Waning means shrinking. Moving to its position at 270 degrees, we see the last quarter moon, the other half of the moon. When the moon reaches 315 degrees, we see the last phase before another new moon, the waning crescent moon. Remember, wax on, wane off! So the next time you're out on a clear night, see if you can identify the current moon phase. Try keeping track of the phases by drawing pictures every night of what the moon looked like. After about a month, see how well you follow the entire moon phase cycle.